is Blair Richardson, CEO of Potatoes USA. Blair, welcome to the Eye. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Phil. So give us an update. What's gone on in the past year uh, with Potatoes USA and what does next year look like? Well, this is kind of the culmination year of everything we've been working on for the past three to four years. It started with our original strategic planning process. Along the way, we look, went out and tried to understand what consumers thought about potatoes, what chefs thought about potatoes, what other um, decision makers in, whether dietitians, nutritionists, or in uh, or bureaucrats are thinking about potatoes. Once we understood that, we decided to, to um, look at where we are in the world um, of food and take a much more aggressive approach to our marketing and, and communications plans in the future. So in the past, we've been really focused on saying it's okay to eat potatoes, you can eat potatoes. In the future, we're talking about how you should eat potatoes and why. And it's all based on um, foundational research that was done over the past eight to 10 years. Um, about potatoes. We know that potatoes are a healthy source of, of nutrition. They're high in fiber, they're high in potassium, high in complex carbohydrates and energy. The, the things you need to live and, and thrive throughout your day. And also, it's interesting to me is I think, uh, to your credit, you've done some fabulous research as it relates to performance. Yes. And yesterday we actually had on um, a doc who was talking about the nutrition of potatoes, uh, to your point, and even she gave me an example that was great, that now at marathons, what they're doing is they've got bowls of potatoes um, with salt on it to really help people with that added potassium when they're running. And, you know, getting rid of those artificial um, you know, drinks and, and so on with electrolytes and replacing it with potatoes and having much better performance from the athletes as a result. That's absolutely right. In fact, over the past eight years, we've invested as an industry about $15 million in nutrition research. And this has uh, been a, a joint effort on behalf of the processors, Lamb Weston, Simplot, Cavendish, uh, McCain's, as well as the growers in the United States and the farmers in, potato farmers in Canada also. We put this money into research that we know that we are now finding is going to be very helpful in carrying that message. And one of the big messages coming out of this is exactly that, that potatoes are just as nutritious as, as some of the highly formulated sports gels and things like that and keeping athletes moving throughout their performance day. And probably more important than anything else, it's real food. It's, that's exactly right. It is <laughs> yeah, real food. It's real food. It's not full of additives and sugars and preservatives and, and all that other stuff. That, that's exactly right. And, and so when we're working with the, whether it's a marathon or a, or a bike racer or someone just running a 5K, we're working with these different athletes at different levels, and they're all finding the same thing, real food for real performance, and it comes from a potato. So... You know, to that end, this morning at 7 a.m., and I didn't make it, uh, <laughs> I was getting ready for our broadcast, uh, but you were there, you had a, a session called Work Out Like a Potato Farmer, where you had, I think, close to 100 people who came. Tell me about Work Out Like a Potato Farmer. What was that all about? Well, it was our first ever effort to kind of get everyone energized for the day here at Potato Expo, and so after 11 years, we thought we should live like we're, we're talking, and uh, we got up this morning early, and about almost 100 people showed up, and we we were able to have a great workout session with a local fitness um, expert. Um, she led us through about 30 minutes of um, exercises and got everyone ready to go today. So did she give everybody like a hoe and a, you know, <laughs> and things like that? I mean, if you don't work out like a potato farmer, you got to get your hands dirty. You know, you, you really got to do it. Um, but also what was interesting about this morning's session, this was, you put together a, a collaboration. It wasn't just Potatoes USA, it was other groups as well, correct? That is absolutely right, Phil. One, one of the things we're really trying to push through our industry is that this is not just about what Potatoes USA is doing. We're coming up with the tools and the research and the information that allows us to carry these types of messages with authority back into the consumer world and into athletes and other target audiences. But we need everyone working on this. Absolutely. And as we've, as we've built this program out, we've taken it to the industry, and whether it's the Idaho Potato Commission or Wisconsin Potato Growers or Washington Potato Growers or any of the other states, um, we want them all working along the same direction. It doesn't mean they have to carry the same message or the same workout like a potato grower or potatoes, what are you eating type thing. Um, it, it, just to focus on athletic athletes and performance in the high nutrition value of potatoes. So this morning, potato, Idaho Potato Commission, Wisconsin Potato Growers, and Colorado Potato Growers all partnered with Potatoes USA to host this event. That's great, and, and I think to your point, having, having a unified voice 
um, helps everybody. And, and I think you've done a fabulous job as CEO where you're really coalescing all these groups to not only you know, utilize all the, all the fabulous things like, like this uh, that, that you all have funded and, and put together, but really you know, be working together because especially from a consumer standpoint, if there's different messages that are coming out, it's confusing to a consumer. They don't know, and uh, congratulations. Again, great job. Your whole team has done a great job, and certainly here at the Potato Expo every year, and you know, if, if you take a look over there, you can see the Potatoes Expo area. This is the place to be at. You know, when you, when you come to the Potato Expo, they have more fun, they have more information, and more camaraderie than just about any place else. So Blair, congratulations. Well, thank you, Phil. And don't forget, potato beer again this afternoon. Okay, potato <laughs> beer this afternoon. What time? Three o'clock? Three o'clock. Three o'clock, potato beer. Be there. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back.